Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Today I'm going to show you how to root the Galaxy Tab 2, the 7 inch version, on Android 4.1.1. So I've had a few requests to update my video. Uh, I previously showed you how to root the uh, Galaxy Tab 2, but it was Android version 4.0.4. .4. So some people have been asking for a video on rooting the 4.1.1 version, and uh, so that's what we have here. Now, unfortunately, I no longer have the tablet. My review time was done, so I had to return it, but it is exactly the same as my previous video. So I'm gonna walk through the steps, and if you watch that previous video with the new files, you'll be set. It's very, very easy, one-click process. You can't go wrong, really. So to begin, I'm gonna put a link down below to this site here. Big thanks to these guys for uh, providing this step-by-step -step process you can uh, go through here and read all of these instructions then uh, you will also have the download files let me zoom in a little bit here you're going to need two files the first one is the odin zip and uh, you just want to click there for that then you're also going to need the cf auto root zip which is right here now there's three versions of this galaxy tab there's the P3100, uh, the P3110, and the P3113. So depending on what model you have, you're going to grab one of these files. Now, I don't have the uh, Galaxy Tab, like I said, but I have my note here. So to in order to find out what model you have, you're going to go into Settings, go all the way to the bottom, go to the About well, it's about phone on my phone, but it'll be about tablet on yours. And then you're going to look for the model number, and it's going to be one of these three. So whichever one you have, you're going to want to grab that file. Now, while you're in here, the first thing you need to do is to enable USB debugging. You're going to want to go into developer options, wherever it is in your settings. Uh, it's probably down towards the bottom. And then you're going to want to click on USB debugging and make sure it's checked. Now I said that you're going to need two files, but there's actually a third. Whenever you're doing anything, modifying any kind of device, you're going to need to get the drivers for it. So in this case, you're going to want to download Samsung Keys. And it has it here, a link to where you can get it. And install Samsung Keys, and that uh, provides the drivers for Samsung and allows your computer to communicate with your tablet. So you're going to get these two files, like I said, the CF auto root and the Odin file, and you're going to want to unzip them. And you'll have uh, two unzipped folders right here. First thing we'll do is go into the Odin. You're going to have two files in here. I'll zoom in so you guys get a good look. The Odin executable file and then a uh, Odin file there that Odin needs to work properly. So make sure you have both of these in there. Then you're just going to double click on Odin, click yes, this brings up Odin. Now I said that you're going to need two files, but there's actually a third. Whenever you're doing anything, modifying any kind of device, you're going to need to get the drivers for it. So in this case, now we have Odin open here, you're going to want to navigate down here to PDA click on it it's going to open up a uh, an explorer window and you're just going to want to navigate to where that cf auto root file is it's a dot uh, tar file and that's what we're going to put into the pda area for me it's in desktop because it's on my desktop so i click on desktop and then i find the file the folder and uh, click on it and here is the file i just want to double click that and now you see it's placed it into the pda and the PDA is checked. Now this section right here, and this is important, these three boxes, auto reboot is the only one that should be checked. You want to leave the other two unchecked. That's important. 
Now you need to get your device into download mode. Once again, uh, I don't have the tab, but it's exactly the same. Um, well, minus the home button here, but to get into download mode, you always hold the volume down button and the power button. The device should be turned off. Volume down, power button until it goes into download mode. Now the first screen will be a warning screen and it looks like this. You just want to click the up volume button to continue and then you'll get into the download mode which looks like this. Next you want to plug the device into the computer. When you do that you will get a yellow window here and that indicates that everything is working correctly and that the tablet is communicating properly to the computer. If you don't get a yellow port, uh, COM port window there, then you need to check your drivers. That's probably what the issue is. Sometimes people will install drivers and it doesn't work. They'll uninstall them, reinstall them, and it's just something with that computer is having an issue with uh, the drivers. So if possible, switch to a different computer. If you have another one, uh, your wife's computer, your girlfriend, something like that, parents, uh, switch to that one and try it on that one. Then you just want to click start and you'll see a progress bar come across here. It goes very quickly. Your phone, or excuse me, tablet, <laughs> will auto reboot. You'll see a uh, screen that looks like this. And then the phone will reboot again and will reboot back into the regular Android uh, operating system. There won't be any outward signs that your device has been rooted. You want to go into, which I can show you with this, you want to go into your apps here and go all the way to the S's and you'll see the Super SU application there. Uh, the icon will look a little different than mine. I think it's the uh, Android with the Superman cape on. I believe that's the one. But that indicates that your tablet has been rooted successfully. And it's just that easy, guys. One click. Now you're free to use applications that require root or put on a custom recovery and flash custom ROMs. So guys, I hope that helps. I hope that answers uh, questions. Once again, I apologize for not actually having a uh, tablet here to show you. Just remember to, number one, install the driver, and number two, make sure you have the right uh, CF Auto Root. All right, guys, this is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Let me know if you need any help with anything, and as always, I'll see you next time.